we would like to welcome you all to Pretty for Jesus this week. I'm excited because I've been hanging out with my amazing friend Sheila all week long. We've had the best time. Yes, we have. We've just been talking about Jesus and having so much fun together. And uh, Jesus time. Jesus time. That's right. That's what we're ready to have with you all is some Jesus time. <laughs> So what we want to talk about this week is fear and torment. Um, I have talked to so many friends that they're in like decision-making times in their life, mm -hmm. and uh, they are so tormented by making the wrong decision. They're tormented by, uh, you know, what if they miss it? They're just, uh, fear has led to torment mm -hmm. in their lives. And one thing that we've got to recognize is, is that where God's love is, fear and torment have no place. Amen. So we're going to get into 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 through 19. We're going to read it in the Amplified. Let's start off. It says, In this union and fellowship with Him, love is completed and perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, with assurance and boldness to face Him, because as He is, so are we in this world. Let's stop right there. We've got some key words here. Okay, yeah. we have union, mm -hmm. fellowship. We have completed, perfected, confidence, Assurance, boldness. I mean, yeah. these are some powerful words in this uh, scripture. As we, you know, the thing that sticks out to me is the confidence. Yeah. Because so so many times we lack confidence in our decisions, and 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 that confidence is really that lack of confidence is driven by the fear, and yeah. it becomes this tormenting, indecisive cycle. Yeah. And. You know, when you when you fellowship with the Lord, you get close to Him and you know Him and you start having an understanding of His love, it drives out that fear. Mm -hmm. It drives out that torment because anything that that leaves you in this indecisive unknown is not of God because no. God is a definite God. That's right. God has definite answers. God has a definite supply. He never leaves you wanting, lacking, indecisive. He is complete and everything in him is complete and perfected. That's exactly right. You see, but it comes from a union and fellowship with him. Yeah. And when you have that union, when we have that fellowship, which comes through the Word of God, Amen. okay, so if you're in a decision-making point right now, or if you've been battling torment because you've just missed it in some area, or you've been dealing with torment because um, you've allowed a spirit of fear to come upon you, yes. then it's time for you to get into the Word of God yes. and begin to find yourself in the Word. You need yes. to begin to pray and begin to speak out God's Word over your life, because as we draw near to Him, He will draw near to us, yes. then we begin to find that we are confident and it's yeah. not our confidence it's confidence in who he is knowing that the greater one is living on the inside of us because as he is so, so are we, we in, in this world, world. well yeah. he is an overcomer he is more than a conqueror yeah so that's who we are that is and it's the processing of the word yeah. as you process it as you meditate on it as you dive in and you study then that love of God that's rises good. up yeah. the faith of God rises up on the inside of you and it produces a confidence that gives you a boldness that says this is who I am and this is what I can do and I make these decisions based on the word of God so get you a scripture yeah. on your situation and there is a scripture verse yeah. for every situation and meditate it and meditate, meditate on, on it, it. Yeah. focus on it. you don't have to have a bajillion scriptures no. you just need one I mean plan and, it deep yeah so it's deeply rooted so that whenever fear and tor torment tries to come in you say oh no this is what I'm right. believing. This is yeah. who I am. Yeah. And that spirit, that word of God is so alive on the inside of you. That's all that will yeah. come out. Amen. Okay, then it goes on to say, there is no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out fear because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment or torment. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected in love. He has not grown into sufficient understanding of God's love. Then it says we love because he first loved us. So if yeah. we're allowing fear to come in, then we've not been perfected in God's love. Yeah. We, we, we need to grow in the love of God. Amen. You see, God loves you. God is so there much. for you. He loves you but so you've got to build that relationship Amen. with him. Yes. How do we do that? How do we build that relationship, that love relationship? Because we try to compare it to earthly relationships, to right. worldly, and you can't. No. This is perfect love. Yes. This is love that in the face of fear, in the face of torment, this love comes in and it drives out fear. It drives out yes. torment. And you know, one thing to do, step one, 
is 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 communication. Yeah. Communicate with your father God. He loves you. And you know there's so many people out there and they, they maybe didn't have that father, but that's okay because God is your yeah, father that's good. and he loves you unconditionally and you can start you can start establishing this relationship, but have a communication. Lord, I love you. I need you in my life. Yeah, that's and then good. go to the Word. You know, something I heard someone say one time was, just go to your favorite scripture verse and meditate there. Mm-hmm. And, and just start meditating there. And then from there, grow in other things. But when you do that, that love that's comes up. a good up, starting point. And it's a yeah. good starting point, And it's a good way to start this, how do I get this love in me that cast out fear? Well, you meditate on His Word and you communicate with Him. His Word is His communication. So we're going to build our relationship with the Lord this week. We're going to build our fellowship with Him. We're going to start off every day by saying, Lord, we love you and we thank you for loving us. We're going to get into the Word and that Word is going to drive out all fear. His perfect love is living on the inside of you. It's growing on the inside of you. And where it lives, where it grows, where it stays, where it abides, guess what? Torment, fear cannot stay. All right, we love you guys. It's going to be a blessed week. God is helping you in every decision. You're going to have a peace, and you're just going to know that this is what God has called you to do. You're going to walk in it, and you're going to walk in that love, in that peace, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.